Yo, what's up guys, it's Killrick99 and today I'll bring you something different from what we have, uh, from what I've been doing lately. I've been doing a, I will be doing a raw commentary on matches that I had with, uh, the Sammy on Globgus turn bus, Bush Storm. So, yeah, this was a tournament basically for you guys that, uh, don't know, was a tournament that Globgus, uh, a youtuber a well-known youtuber uh did for uh his premium members and uh, basically yeah the tournament had like 25 dollars price pool uh it was it was a crazy tournament to be honest most of the like the best matches were between me and semi uh as being mainly the, the most experienced players in that tournament and better once in our i just wanted to like a raw commentary on these uh, matches that we that I had with the semi, uh, because I haven't done a like a raw commentary like I used to in a while. I've been doing a lot of like scripts that I've wrote to make things more, you know, more professional. I would say, but at the same time, it loses a bit of like passion and like actually emotions from the video, which I always had, um, and I don't want to be taking that away from the channel. So. Yeah, I'll be commentating these matches with the semi. So, like, just I know that I'm I'm rambling a bit, but I want to give a quick int introduction before I just uh, start commentating the matches. Uh, basically, coming into this tournament, um, uh, I knew that uh, I was going to play the semi because I actually did enter the tournament because I heard the semi saying that he was going to spin turn because i wasn't really uh, uh i watched globku but i wasn't his in his patreon like a member from his patreon but like i was i want to join this term like i want to try to to win you know compete against semi it's always cool um and yeah the last tournament that i had was the semi tournament in january i think and that one went really badly because most of the players were way better than me so yeah, I wanted to get some uh, some good results. And yeah, so uh, basically coming into this match, I knew that basically, like the one of the things that Sebi does better against me is he really times the support really well and he baits out my dashes. And he's really effective on using the supports against me. And actually doing a lot of damage just only by the supports like um but of course he does way more than support damage but the damage that he does the supports is really good and it really catches my timing as well uh i knew that coming into this match like the two things that i focus more like i didn't really didn't uh think really much about like the character matchup uh because to be honest like even after the tournament and I don't know what character really counters like this Naruto and it's so weird because like I don't see anyone picking this Naruto and it's actually a really good character like his combos are really his first hits are really good and um, yeah it's, it's actually a, a solid character uh, really good even, even like the thing that I saw from these matches and playing the semi uh, even like in other matches in the SLs and stuff, is that this Naruto really blocks well the supports. Like it's hard to interrupt his combos. Like when he's uh, attacking you, when you want to maybe like he's attacking you with combos and you want to stop him with supports and that stuff. It's hard because yeah, those Kagebunshin really stop the supports. But yeah, either way, yeah, those were the two things that I focused uh, more, were like trying to not get it by all the supports that he was throwing at me and but the other thing was countering a lot because I know that Sammy uh, most of the time isn't really looking for counters and he actually he doesn't like really people that uh, quote unquote abuse counters right um, but yeah I knew that I had to uh, focus on the counter game if I wanted to win against Sammy so basically let's let's focus on the commentary now so basically you saw that like actually this was one of the things that i wanted to talk about more was i am i'm gonna take that back a little bit um i did this counter like switch counter switch and 
like in my mind i really wanted the counter switch but um the thing that happened was i got the counter switch i was like what the fuck i did a hit from the combo and then i i choked i should just keep mashing circle for the combos right but i ended up doing a hit and then uh, just uh doing the jutsu so it actually worked because i, I think that he was indeed uh, really um, surprised also by the counter switch and because he wasn't really hoping for that and he ended up really uh, working out uh, then we have here really like we are both on hp almost and boom sarada is so hard to deal with with that um with that thing and uh, yeah just give me a second because my uh someone was calling me so yep but i'll be right back so yeah, let's go second match. This was the best of three. Uh, I think it was the match that uh, whoever won was going to the winner's semifinals. So yeah, I forgot to mention that at the start of the, the video. But yeah, let's go second match. 1-0 uh, for me. Sammy didn't switch characters. He could switch characters. Uh, but he opted to not switch characters. So yeah, let's see. Nice tag and switch for me to keep the pressure going. I wasted a lot of chakra, but at the same time, uh, it was a good risk to take, in my opinion. A real, uh, a weird counter there. Um, but yeah, I managed to get a one now. Um, yeah, I wasn't really afraid of uh, him punishing my counters that much. So yeah, let's see. Nice trap there. It's always good to have that annoying trip. It's a rather trip. Um, okay, nice, nice. So I managed. I don't know, like my Sasuke, that Sasuke pick. Um, I don't really know how you call that one. That Sasuke one. Uh, that Sasuke, but uh, yeah, it was like I don't know. I don't really didn't know what. To pick against Sammy. I knew that I wanted to pick Shino at a certain point in time, but yeah, I ended up picking these characters for the first match because I know that even if I lost one, I could uh, switch. Nice switch there. Uh, pretty even on health. I need to stop doing that uh, switch in the air with the shurikens because like, it's so easy to punish and like, I keep doing it even though I get punished every time. Maybe like once in five times I don't get punished like at the same time. You see, I have this bad habit of switching, like, when switching using the Uh Nice one from Sammy. Um, he catches me real well, and one thing that he doesn't drop is this combo cancel with Naruto, which is really impressive that he never drops it. And nice, first round for Sammy. Nice, you see this, he really is good at um, how do you timing those uh, supports really well. Which is something that I have to give props to him, because like, I definitely can't do, uh, use my, uh, use my uh, supports like that so well. So yeah, he's really low on health, and boom, okay, I finished him. So yeah, final round, let's go with the second match. Ooh. One thing that uh, in all these matches we really... Damn, look at the damage, bro. We also used uh, rusting in really well. Like this one was also really good rusting in. Nice rusting in again, nice attempt. Okay, this was a nice switch. I don't think I needed that uh, extra, like, shuriken damage, whatever. Uh, like, these times, I should have a um, nice cancel again. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. It's really good against with those combo kids. But going earlier, like, one thing that I didn't do now that I'm watching the replay, it was really... Um, like there's sometimes that where it's obvious that I should counter because like when block when he blocks my uh, Yutsu in the air, 
when he blocks my dashes in the air, I should um, definitely counter instantly. Um, but yeah, I wasn't on point to be honest. I wasn't really on point. At least for this one. So yeah, I'm basically no elf, but we both don't have subs. Um, Scard is his guard is almost breaking them. Sarad is so good with that pressure. He really needs to always watch out for that. Um, again, being punished by throwing like random shurikens, which I shouldn't. So easy to punish. Um, it's kind of crazy. Nice counter uh, bait from Sammy, man, and really nice finish, like, really good match. I'll be right back, guys, for the third match. So, yeah, let's go back to the final match for this set, for this best of three. Uh, I changed up Chino, because I, as I said before, I knew that I wanted to go back to Chino, because normally Sammy always um, got a lot of problems dealing with my Chino. As he basically is a really strong character, she knows. And yeah. So yeah, nice wrestling. And again, uh, I've been switching a lot. Uh, like almost like without a reason sometimes. And uh, Sammy punished that really well. With uh, yeah, another support uh, hit by Sammy really well placed. One thing that I did good, but uh, was really uh, oh, now he he messed up the uh, the combo cancel. But one thing that I used well, as I was saying, was basically the attacks. The bombs were well placed by me, which is always good when you have a, like a strike back, like uh, supports. Nice tag. And I knew that uh, I needed to get Shino in. Okay, nice block for me, nice switch, oh he doesn't have this but nice pain uh, support, I always get hit by so many supports when I'm playing Sam, it's crazy man. Nice one. Okay, he didn't really use uh, Sasuke that well, now nice. Cancel right there, nice pressure, taking out his subs, nice support views, this was a really nice sequence by me, we both both cancelled each other with the tags right there, nice switch, nice combo, missed the juggle, didn't really guard break that, that was my intention, but uh, yeah, strong life lead, uh, at this point in the match I thought like, I'm probably gonna take this match, uh, yeah, I like I have more than a bar advantage coming into the second round I'm probably not gonna drop this if I don't do anything stupid right but uh, then again <laughs> he getting hit by the Sasuke support it's more a little bit of lag I don't know another support that I got hit by uh, crazy real really nice it's Chino Tensei And boom, this crazy Shino shenanigan that um, most of the times, like the up combo really breaks your guard. So crazy, man. The pressure that Shino can do. And this crab wasn't the best option, to be honest. Like, he didn't do any damage, but uh, at the time, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna grab it. Nice tilt. Actually, the first time that I hit that tilt uh, during this set. It's always good, he leaves a stun, does a lot of damage. And yeah, uh, about that, yeah, Naruto. It's Naruto one thing that he does well. Uh, he's really uh, hitting those magic hits. You don't, <laughs> like, no one really calls them magic hits, but it's actually funny to call them magic hits. Just because I don't know where they hit you when they shoot. But uh yeah, I'm not really gonna talk about that as you're gonna see later on. Nice guard break. And boom boom. And the 
really nice um, really really nice combo uh, cancel right there into ultimate very nice from the semi and basically I still think in my head I take this match because I'm like one bar like full health against like one bar from the semi but at the same time I was like I can't get it by support and then again I get it by the pin support it's crazy now I just said oh, I'm just, just gonna do double to meet you too Nice pain, pain jutsu for me. Nice counter, and yeah, keep the pressure going. Then again, I get hit by another support. I mean, most of the times it was really my uh, fault because like it wasn't doing nothing that I haven't seen before, right? Uh, when it comes to the support usage. It's kind of hard to use the supports like in a different way than people use it. But now re this was really nice from him. Gotta give him the credit. Um, because he threw the shuriken for me to get hit by the fireball. Uh, for that frame. But uh, I don't know how I got hit by that other pain support. I, th I thought I was really, really far away from him with Sarada. But I don't know. I at this point I was like, what the fuck is going on? Uh... I was started panicking like what the fuck how is he coming back another paid support bro what the fuck bro oh shit and there you go we are almost even health my shino nice block oh and i choke on using pain right there and he, boom, he doesn't really uh miss that combo cancel and what a comeback from sammy like damn bro like i was really sh shocked i was i was like how is this possible like uh damn i mean the loser's bracket and i had everything that i needed to win it was really uh crazy to be honest so yeah let's jump into uh let's jump into the uh grand final so i uh okay so yeah this match is going to we're both gonna get that connection drop but i'm gonna go and do a quick introduction to the grand final set what happened um, before that and what was my uh, mentality going into the grand final set on losers bracket so yeah as i said right now uh and that's globku right there um as i said uh the losers bracket i was in loser bracket sammy uh threw me in there in those bracket earlier on terminal as you saw and i knew that i had to switch gears i wasn't going to play chino because even though I, I, like the Shino wasn't really the problem against Sammy, I just felt a little really, really discouraged on playing Shino when he did that comeback on me, and also discouraged on playing the Sasuke. So I thought he wasn't doing much, and he wasn't, to be honest. But yeah, so I was like, what character should I pick? And then I thought like, I have so many characters, but I'm gonna try this because this has so much pressure on, on Jutsu. That was the main thing that I saw like. Oh my god, like first guy with the Shuriken and Danzo with the Jutsus, man. I'm definitely gonna do a lot of damage by that. Like, first Okage combo damage is no joke. So I, I saw, like, yeah, people don't really use this first Okage much. I like using him. Let's throw in Danzo also, because Danzo is annoying character to deal with. And let's see how this goes. I was surprised that I went with Sakon. Um, but at the same time, I will you will see why you went to Zakon right there. And yeah, let's see. So basically, yeah. He saw me using characters earlier on the turn because I basically uh, I did like uh, two or three matches in the losers bracket before coming into his grand finals and I used these characters and I told him I'm gonna use these characters, so yeah. Nice, you see this? Uh, it was blocking my pressure from the jutsu with that uh, barrier right there with that uh, gate. And nice jutsu for me, nice support usage once again. Nice little like damage with the, the first hit and then tag and nice counter. I was feeling myself, I was feeling myself. I knew that I had a long way to go for win, win this turn, but I was comfortable in, in going for like a lot of matches in the same because we kind of know each other well we have played a lot of matches nice pain support to block my jutsu 
damn this is one thing that Danzo is really uh, dirty on it, it hits you just like Nagato and when I say just like Nagato it basically hits your foot and it doesn't really drop combos even though you're just eating foot uh, most of the cards are really um, combo slips through the through because yeah you're hitting the toes you end up not being able to connect all the hits or most of the hits I should say and uh, with Danzo no it doesn't really apply that rule doesn't apply just just like it doesn't apply with Nagato Danzo just is able to do all those hits of the combo with no like difference in damage and yeah nice damage there from first Okage oof that was a nice movement right there nice side step for me dodge that trap and the pressure I mean nice pain support right there jutsu pressure oh first Okage on block is so dirty man and then dashing into uh, jutsu the tilt really good even though you get like you get uh, damn, nice grab. Nice grab into strike back. Nice uh, gate right there. I would like to see him use. Uh, nah, I wasn't going to waking uh, there against Sammy. But uh, nice gate. I would like to see him do. He does a couple of times, but I'd like to see him use the gate on that uh, no. Uh, chakra Jutsu more uh, so I think it would be more efficient but yeah uh, right now I'm, I was like gonna win this round 10 seconds I just need to play the clock damn those supports man nice finally one occasion that actually me switching into Chakra Shuriken or Chakra Kunai actually uh, paid off to finish my so yeah, and later on the series actually is gonna pay off a little bit. You gonna see? But yeah. Oh my God, he saw that. That was dirty, man. Like I subbed in in front of him, so basically it wasn't even a sub. Like it was my sub, but uh, but yeah, nice uh, patient right there from Sammy bending out my counter. He really read my timing as well. So yeah, we were really really uh, close on this one. And nice counter, nice gate right there to stop me. And this happened. Uh, basically, the semi uh, lost his connection. I, it, it didn't lost its connection, I think his game crashed. Um, and unfortunately, Globku was running uh, low on time. Uh, the met, uh, tournament was delayed. Mortal, there was a Mortal Kombat tournament also coming up right next, and people were already waiting for it because it was already past that time of uh, the start of the tournament. And so he didn't really let us replay the match. So, unfortunately, I had the first win like that, which is all, which always sucks for both people because I don't like to win like that. And he also, of course, doesn't want to lose like that, right? But um, unfortunately, also uh, a, a condition that was in this set was on this grand final set was that he, uh, Sammy was also running low on time because he had to meet up. He had like a meet up at a certain time, and it was already past that time. So yeah, basically. He was playing under that pressure additionally of having to to actually leave home as soon as possible, you know, as possible. And so, yeah, she's unfortunate always to have those things ruining a little, like most a lot of the gameplay. But yeah, let's go into second match. Doesn't matter. Uh, it didn't switch characters. Also, didn't switch characters. And let's go. And uh, one thing that I really want to point out is that, uh, like, if I lost the first match, 
I'm like 100% well, sure that I was gonna switch characters. Uh, and yeah, you're gonna see why I was lucky that I didn't really switch characters and I was lucky that I ended up not losing that match. Um, because yeah, these characters actually paid off. A nice grab for me. Uh, I wanted to pay uh, the sub right there, so I did the combo. I just threw uh, item, item. Yeah. Oof, almost. It's pressure. Nice cancel. So I dashed, canceled, and started attacking. Uh, of course, to not lose uh, my, uh, my frames advantage because if you block my jutsu, with my dash, you actually get frame advantage. Now I, I predicted this because I thought it was, yeah, like most of the people actually insta dash in the air after that after that combo. So I was like, I'm just gonna counter that. Um, I know that's coming, and so yeah, nice counter. There. Another nice counter. I, as I said, it felt like Semi was really tilted. Uh, after the first match, what happened in the first match, he, I think it really got into Zen and it was like, let me just got and destroy this guy fast. Uh, but yeah, nice uh, switch there with uh, Shuriken pressure actually. And yeah, nice switch right there with the Shuriken is really well placed and the damage is insane on that. Nice tag by the semi. Nice support users once again, damn. Ugh, I see my subs right there, and it's finished. Uh, let's go second round. Again, getting punished by doing that stupid like chakra. So you can switch on air, which almost never, almost pays off. But whatever, I need to take that in consideration for the next uh, match that I'll be doing. Oof. That was risky, but uh, I just went for it. Sometimes you just go for risky stuff. Cause like, yeah, you can't afford to, at least you, or at least you think you can't afford, right? Damn, I got lucky there. Nice dash right there, delay dash, he also delayed the sub. Getting a pretty comfortable um, life lead, but at the same time after that first set where he came back like a god against me, I wasn't going to uh, let my guard off and I was actually playing like trying to play my best and not make mistakes because I knew that Sammy is the type of player that can actually do those crazy comebacks. Nice pressure block. One thing about Ashirama, of course he has a crazy, one of the best jutsus in the game with that shuriken jutsu, but at the same time he has also one of the best like combos when it comes to damage uh, and block and play. Block. It's insane the combo, it's so much like uh, guard damage, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, he kept attacking after that. Got it by that. Okay, I yeah, I think he tried to bait my uh, counter right there. And what a nice uh, almighty push right there. And basically, yeah. Uh, I have no subs, no shock, but at the same time, like I just need to. Play more defensive and nice counter. It was a little bit risky, but uh, I had to take the risk. I felt like I had to, otherwise it was going to actually get to me and start comboing me. And he probably, I don't, yeah, he probably has like also a a uh, ultimate combo cancel uh, combo cancel into ultimate with Saka. Yeah, almost. And also again doing the shuriken switch. <laughs> I'm gonna point that out every single time that I do that because yeah I really need to take that bad habit off and yeah 
nice finish with shuriken and i'll be right back for the third match give me a second 